Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator here again. And we are at the eight episodes, yes, crazy, eight episodes of the perfect Monday. I've got this beautiful tree with me. I steal it from my daughter's room, but don't tell her that. I hope she doesn't watch the video. And uh, that's really keep me inspired for my next design, which are the cherry blossom flowers on those extreme stiletto needles. Yes, all 12 centimeters stiletto needles. And you can see a uh, close up to that. I will show you how to paint it using a one stroke technique. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy watching this video. Um, if you do, uh, share, share the video with your friends so they can see it as well. But also hashtag Dorota Palitska if you have tried this design, even on the shorter needles, I don't mind, because uh, I will be happy to see your work too. So let's start. To create those kind of design uh, with the cherry blossom flowers, we need to use the acrylic paints and uh, some one stroke brush. The brush I'm going to use is Dorota Palitska One Stroke Brush Level 1 and you can get it from our website which is www.newperfect.net You can also see the link in the description of this video as well We are um, going to use the Neil Perfect uh, acrylic paints They are water-based and really great for one stroke They just got a perfect consistency And I'm going to use the one which is Snow White, number 2 Also the Deep Magenta which is number 13 and the brown color, which is number 30. For the toilet work, I'm going to use the micro styler number 4000. Uh, and that's a very, very fine brush. Uh, I also like for my one stroke a little bit of the water and the baby wipes. Just the cheapest ones, so they don't have too much oil into them. Uh, just to clean the brush in between and then some top coat to top coat the design. I have used some uh, jade stone to apply my paint so they don't dry as much but you could also use the CD or you could use a piece of the foil. I usually used to work with the foil but that was a little bit too reflective for you to watch. Um, you have to do a new enhancements the same way you would do it on your client. So it can be a one color, it can be a glitter or anything you want. And then as your, after you apply the top coat, you have to buff the design, when, uh, buff the needle. When buffing the needle, make sure you use a very uh, fine and smooth buffer to don't create too many scratches. Otherwise, your paint gets stuck in, uh, in those scratches and it's not going to look uh, nice and attractive. I'm going to clean my needle using a little bit of the blue scrap and then I can start painting. For a one stroke technique, you have to pick up the paint in a higher corner of the lighter color and then on the lower color, the darker, on the lower corner, the darker color, and then start pre mixing them. The sherry flowers are kind of pretty easy and simple ones, but you need to think of your composition. So what I'm going to do is, the biggest bulk of the flower is going to be in this place. When painting with the one stroke, I kind of um, pressing the paint into the needle. Uh, you want to shake it a little bit, but don't shake it too much and don't rush with your design. You have to be kind of pretty... Uh, pretty slow on painting and so it's more kind of touch lift your hand up and touch So we have created one then we can do another one just above So it's touch touch and then you leave the brush in the same position you have finished I also need something uh, on this side as well, so... If you want to layer your petals uh, and apply one on top of another, sometimes you have to wait for a paint to dry, because otherwise if there is uh, going to be too wet paint, you are going to smudge what you have painted previously. There's nothing wrong and nothing, uh, and nothing bad if you create kind of different shape of the petals each time. So I will show you slowly again. I'm mixing up my paint and then 
starting straight brush and then start lying the brush so I have created something like this and then going down the way a little bit to do the petal touch one side bringing the brush down other side and we have created the flower I want to show you that uh, you can also just kind of touch it as well so I place my brush I touch it and I lift it up and we get a petal as well and for this design this is enough so really three touches of the brush I want some smaller petals to be on the bottom as well so not as large Really kind of randomly touching the the meal. Something pretty quick and um, especially like on the shorter nails, obviously they are a little bit long, all 20, 12 centimeters. Uh, but uh, on the clients for a salon, it is going to be a really quick design. I need to also balance it out my uh, my design a little bit more, and I will explain that to you. So here i've got too much on this side and not enough in here i need to add something on this side so basically once you're painting you keep checking where would be a best place to squeeze another petals and then something coming from the Once I'm happy with this part, I can clean my brush and I'm using the baby wipes for that. Just dip it in the water and then put some cleaning in between the baby wipes. To keep your brush lifelong, it's good to squeeze it in between your fingers as well, just to make it uh, into the really nice and point shape. Our next part is just to add a little bit of detail. So I'm picking up lots of water in my brush and the white paint. And I'm start preparing my brush, kind of rolling it in into the very, very fine and nice point so I can outline it very nice and gentle. You don't want to outline every flower, just some of it. You could add a couple dots inside as well, especially on the larger petals. And then do exactly the same with the brown paint. So lots of water in and then prep my brush to paint a very fine lines. So this one is coming up from the top and then one side and I could add another stream on the other side. When you start feeling your brush is getting a little bit too dry, just dip it in, in the water again. And those brown lines kind of finishing off the design. I really want to see your work as well so if you have tried it you can just hashtag Dorota Palitska and I will have a look at it and I can also give you some feedback as well if you've got another ideas what else you would like to see you can drop me a picture or you can just um, tag me on something as well and I will be happy to produce that for you so you can try it on your clients with all the hints and tips The one stroke doesn't look attractive until we add all those little details so I have to also 
I like this petal as well so it's not flying. And that's it almost finished. Once we apply the top coat, everything starts to pops out as well. So I'm going to do that now. Because the paint was so thin um, and um, it is pretty hot, it is already dry. So I can just go straight into the top coat. And you will be able to see how beautifully the design pops out. Something pretty quick and different for your clients. Just before I cure it, you can have a wee look. In different direction. So you can see it. Sorry, try to find a good angle. There we are. You can see it. The design. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you did give me a like or leave a little comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys! Bye!